You know, it's kind of funny. Whoever's feeling it, whoever's getting shots, whoever's making shots, it just kind of goes to them. And, and that's the beauty of our team. We've got so many guys who can make plays even down the stretch. You know, it's. It's really a, a great thing for us. So you don't have to make a game for seven, but I have to take over this game. I just play my game, you know, and I let the game come to me. And I think that's very important for all of us on the team to do. You know, you're trying to start forcing things, and that's when you make mistakes. You guys showed a lot of heart tonight. It was, a, it was a game of runs, and you constantly answered those runs. We, we showed a lot of heart. And we showed a lot of resiliency because they, they took the lead with, I think it was 49-48. They were they were cooking, and we, we showed a lot of toughness by fighting back and, and regaining the lead and making a little run. On offense, you guys don't seem to be selfish, but you, you and Pete seem to have the authority to take shots when you want to go field. What's that like for you, and what are you looking for when you, when you get the ball and put on the shot? I think it's very important that, that Pete and I have the green light to make plays, to make shots, and. Uh, when I get the ball, it's just trying to do what's best for the team. You know, if, if I see a, an opportunity to score, I'm going to score. If I see an opportunity to move it on, maybe somebody else has got a better opportunity, I'm just going to move it on. But I just, I just try to play my game and, and let, let the game come to me. Woodbury does that really well as far as, like, there was one play in the post there. He had the chance to go up instead, kind of passed up a good shot for a great shot and found you down low. That kind of unselfishness seems to be, you know, apparent with your, with your team on offense. That comes from how close-knit of a group we are, I think, because we, we've been playing with each other for a long time, and that experience, you can't replace that experience, but how close we are off the court is, is very a very special thing, and I think that's why we're playing so well. You look the way Pete's been playing, I mean, because you know, you, you're going to be the number one target for most teams, but then, you know, he scores 23 at Michigan State, hits four threes today. How important is that for you to have somebody like that who can hit those kind of shots? Peter is, is one of the best players in the Big Ten. And he, I can't say enough about him. His ability to make shots, his ability to make tough shots, you know, and, and clutch shots down the stretch is uncanny. And that helps me and it helps the team both. With, when you got a, a guy like that who can make those shots consistently, it, 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 it's huge for your team. How important has the bench development been for you guys, Jared? You guys, starters have been playing pretty well all year, but the bench seems to really have taken a step forward. I think the bench has really found their own. They've been playing with a lot of energy. I think they're really finding their role on the team, and they're, they're fulfilling that role. Not that you guys would naturally.